Hey guys, Anthony and crew, 4x4 Diesel on a 4x4 adventure. And we've had a failure, so we're doing a bit of bush mechanics. Probably not to fix it, but we'll try and see what went wrong with it. So this one did come from eBay, didn't it? Yes. You may have seen on a video or some post somewhere, I don't know where we put it, but this failed. And I always put my two cents worth in by saying, if you do quality wiring, you don't need fuses. But you put the fuse anyway, but a nice reliable fuse, no need to circuit breakers, and then you eliminate more mechanical components. So what we'll do is we'll, we're just getting this open here. We're following off the uh, rivet here. We've done one. You'll see in about an hour when the other will open up and see what went wrong with it. That's right, it doesn't matter which way it is. Oh, you've already uh, filed yeah. off it. That only took five minutes for the other three. Right, so how long did it take the first one? Not long. No, not long. So we just fold the top off it. So we're ready to try and lift it off, are we? Yeah, or? it's quality steel, yes. Yeah, so right, do you want to see if it... Do you have to get a screw roll or something? Today, yeah. Yeah, yeah try and see what went wrong. We'll get, we'll get a screw here. Yeah, no, here we go. It's coming open. Oops, that's that oh. bit off. It's all good. But we're not going to be repairing it anyway. It's not bush mechanic repairs. It's... Have a look and see what went wrong, hopefully, maybe. Let's have a look in there, eh? Look at that, a bit of rust. So not that well sealed. All the uh, auto electrical experts uh, watching can uh, tell us what went wrong with it in the comments. It's going to pieces now, but anytime there's uh, that rust, I don't know much about these. I've never used them, never opened one, whatever, and haven't analyzed it yet. This is all happening as it happens, but I'm saying that rust on those contacts there is going to stop the contact. And, uh, grab this bit out here, can you? I reckon it's something to do with that. See, at the ends there, it's got brass on the ends. So that's probably meant to have a contact and it doesn't because it's covered in rust. So it's pretty obvious something to do with that would be my guess uh, not knowing much about it at all and yeah if it was stainless steel or some better quality material or better seal uh probably would have avoided the situation yeah you probably bent. you probably just bent it but... <laughs> anyway there you go that's what it looked like inside there um good luck to you with your circuit breakers regardless of quality you can have them if you want i just do quality wiring use a fuse and carry spares that you never need to change that's it. If you like that one, hopefully you learned something. Don't waste your time on circuit breakers. What are you going to do? Are you going to replace the circuit breaker or are you going to put a fuse in there and make sure you've got quality wiring? <laughs> All right, guys, that's I, it. I We're out of here. Sorry, I didn't realise that was my that, question. That was a question. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, yep, yeah, I'll put a fuse in. Put a fuse? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Something I can see There's what's too happening. many mechanicals going on. I mean, yes. why would a, lot, a circuit breaker, in my opinion, of course, only my opinion, is something like, you know, the, the original manufacturers use on something like headlights because the head, if you're driving in the dark and your headlight, you blow a fuse, right, you got a problem. Well, you're in the dark. That is not good, right? Not good. So at the end of the day... Basically, you need it to go off and then it cools and then back, back on again, hopefully a few seconds later. I have experienced that in the old XE Falcon, so that's good. But, you know, quality wiring is number one. Circuit breaker, there's no need for it if you've got quality wiring because you're never going to have a short circuit. And if you do, change the fuse. That's it, we're going. That's a Bush Mechanics suss it out what went wrong problem. <laughs> non-repair you could repair it you could clean that up i don't know how you're going to get it back on if they had screws instead of rivets you could actually pull it apart fix it up put it back together put but some screws in it got better, out. got better things to do on holidays don't you? anyway that's it catch you later and if you hung around we're not done yet okay now getting further into it it didn't take me long even while i was saying it i went it looked like just uh hinge points that i was talking about of course that doesn't make any contact so what i was talking about doesn't make any difference so what have you figured out in so the last this This plug minute. makes contact between this pin and the one underneath it. When it gets hot or over current, this will warm up and deflect and flick upwards, lifting off this contact point that's underneath. Between that one and that one. But you can see this so is... That's just full of rust and that's corroded. hammered as well, yeah. And that's why we're not getting any circuit between the two yep. of them. It's wrecked, it's isn't so it? Corroded. Destroyed just from, yes. uh, obviously, so moisture and poor quality materials, poor quality product is the cause of the problem. Exactly. Um, and it could have been avoided by just not having one there. Saves weight, saves money, 
bloody beautiful it's without a it. poor quality copper if it's corroding like that it is yeah that's it but i think it's more the other uh steel in there that's yeah that's probably maybe starting off with this could be the not best quality yep. anyway that's it this time catch ya